Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues as we take a good long dive into the deep end of the NWA All-Star Classic. It takes place in Cleveland, hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network. He makes his return to the event and to this show. Nike hot seat today. I got to tell you, it's a good guy. Max Roscoe. Max, how are you? Hey, Scott. Thanks for having me on. Well, congratulations, man, and, and you're welcome. Congratulations on the uh, return invitation. Um, there was probably an odds-on favorite for you to be invited, but uh, what was the response like when you were notified that you got the invite? This, Pat didn't even have to say anything. As soon as he showed me the email, I was like, yeah, like I'm going. I don't care who I'm wrestling. It doesn't matter. I knew it was going to be in Cleveland this year, and it would be the first time for me to go back home and compete in front of my hometown crowd since I've been in high school. So it's been a long time coming, and so I didn't even hesitate when uh, when I got the offer. What's cool about last year versus this year is that you're actually moving down a weight this year, uh, yeah. and you're, you're going to tangle up with uh, 2015 All-American Brian Murphy of Michigan. Have you wrestled him before? No, I've never wrestled Brian. Uh, Brian Murphy, uh, my teammate Tommy Gant wrestled him last year, and that's pretty much the only time I've ever seen him. I haven't really paid too much attention to that weight class, so. But now I got my eyes on every person weight, so. I got to ask you, what was your favorite match last year of all the matches during the season? Do you can can you pick one out? Could be home or away. Uh, probably Tech falling David McFadden at home uh, against Virginia Tech. That one was hard too, though, because we still lost the we still lost the dual meet. But I like that one. I like beating uh, I like beating uh, Nebraska at Nebraska too. That was big. Uh, and then winning against Oklahoma and uh, Oklahoma State and Iowa last year, both away for us was uh, pretty big. There, I was in so many big dual meet matches last year. I I really can't pick just one, but those four kind of stick out in my mind. I, I couldn't pick one out, dude. I got to tell you, I couldn't pick one out if I was in your shoes either. Um, this is your second straight appearance in the All-Star Classic. We mentioned that. Uh, last year, it was uh, Oklahoma's Clark Glass uh, that fell at your hands. The score was 9-2, taking place in Atlanta, Georgia. I got to believe that you know, you're going to do your best to do what you do, but you're being described as a very dynamic wrestler there. And, uh, that comes off the lips of most of the pros, most of the coaches out there. Does that accurately describe your style to you? Yeah, I, I'd say so. I do a lot of things different. I'm not really limited to just a, uh, specific set of moves. I feel like a uh, college wrestlers nowadays, they just drill two, three moves, and they get, they kind of, they think they can perfect those, and then they go out in a match. And the second that those two or three moves don't work, they get all flustered. They're like, they don't know what to do. I'm well versed in every single position in wrestling, and that's what makes me dangerous. Gosh, yeah, you are very, very dangerous. That is a fact. We've seen it time and time again. Turn your head, blink your eye, and uh, guarantee he's going to be in on one or both of your ankles. Both uh, you and your opponent, Murphy, missed placing at the 2016 NCAA Division I Championships. Uh, you played a huge part in NC State's stellar year, the year that was 2015-2016. It's a statement year. Uh, entered as number five seed at 165 pounds, but was upset early and bounced from the tournament. Did not that's not the way you wanted to end it, is it? No, not at all. That uh, that burn that wasn't easy to do. Uh, that was pretty hard on me, and uh, I think I made the mental adjustments and also the physical adjustments that I needed to make over the summer to make sure that even during the season I'm at a higher level. And that something like that happened at the national tournament will never happen again. Last year, you went 16 and four overall. And I got to believe taking that back to Ohio uh, to start the year off. And that's what the All-Star Classic does. It really kicks off the season. Um, Bring it back. There's got to be a lot of folks coming in from Kilbuck, Ohio. I got people from Holmes County, Wayne County, uh, Tuscarawas County, Coshocton County, people from Mansfield, everywhere. I'm, uh, I'm going to have a big crowd. I'm definitely going to have the biggest crowd there. I guarantee that. I know the folks at uh, Fox Sports Time Ohio are watching this very show. What do you want to tell everybody out there that are watching on Fox Sports Time Ohio? 
uh, come out, support your uh, hometown boy, and I promise you're not going to uh, be disappointed because I'm going to put a whooping on that uh, team up north. We won't, <laughs> we, don't, we don't say that, that team name where I'm from. <laughs> Well, I don't even know where that comes comes from, but that's right. They it's, always say that that state up north or that team uh, from up north, but it will be a uh, it'll be a battle for sure. Uh, Kilbuck, Ohio. Tell our viewers about Kilbuck, Ohio. Kilbuck, Ohio has one main road going through it. Uh, one, there's not there's not any stoplight. It's uh, about a thousand people. It's a real small town. Best pizza in the entire country. Kilbuck Pizza Parlor. Love that place. We just uh, we have uh, the Duncan Theater on the square too, uh, and then outside of it, there's a on the east side there's a swamp, and on the on the west side there's a bunch of cornfields and farms. So that's really all there is. I got a lot of scenic routes I used to do a lot of running on growing up. Now, do you, do you hunt, fish, camp? What do you do? I used to trap. I used to hunt a little bit. I don't really have the patience for hunting, but I used to trap. Uh, I used to trap some like raccoons and stuff like that, uh, hunt groundhog, just stuff like that. And then I liked fishing, but like I said, I'm not on the pace for it. If I wasn't catching something within 10 minutes, I was gone. Max, I was leaving. I was going to go do something else. Max Rose Comfort Gas uh, in the Nike hot seat today. He'll be making a return appearance to the All-Star Classic. It's the 51st edition, and we're lucky to have him for sure. It's presented by Brewer Garrett Company. He'll face off against Brian Murphy uh, from the University of Michigan at 157 pounds. So it's going to be new for you. It's going to be new for him. It's going to be new for me. I'm excited, man. This one is going to be an outstanding. You know, what a great opportunity for all the folks in Ohio to come to see an event where there's going to be a lot of Ohio residents wrestlers competing at the highest level i think this is an excellent opportunity don't uh, don't you i think this is an awesome opportunity ohio is going to take the national tournament by storm this year and the whole season in general and i think the guys that are competing in the all-star classic from ohio are just a small glimpse of what uh, ohio is bringing the division one wrestling this year it's going to be a big year Date to mark on your calendar, folks, November 5th at Cleveland State University's Walsing Center. Tickets are available now, and we encourage you to join us live. We want to rock the house. We want to pack the house, and I guarantee you we're going to get it done. But make sure you get in line, get online right now, and order up your tickets. Easy enough to do. Go to nwcaonline.com. That's one of the places you can go, or Go allstarclassic.com. The Wilson Center box office is 844-407-2279 or at Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts as well. We're looking forward to it. We appreciate you taking the time to join us today, Max. We're looking forward to another outstanding year with you on the mats around the country. Looking forward to seeing those results. Coach Papalizio and Coach Beasley deserve nothing but the best, and that's apparently uh, something you agree with. Yeah, I agree. We have uh, uncompromising standards here, and uh, anything less than a team trophy is going to be a disappointment for me and our whole team. That's what I'm so. talking about. All right, dude. Good job out of you. Appreciate your time today in the Nike hot seat. Best to your folks. Thank you I'm very much. I'm Appreciate Scott Casper for our fun. very well-spoken guest, Max Roscoff of NC State, North Carolina. And the Wolfpack is back.